All right, how you doing? Today we are here to unwrap and unveil our new line Sea Hunt boats and our new 27 Game Fish. Game Fish, it's just been redesigned this year. Uh, for this, I'm gonna change roles a little bit, going into uh, my Sea Hunt mode with my cigar. We're gonna get out here and this is how the boat comes. You can see we just unloaded it. Uh, we get all of our boats wrapped from the factory in order to protect them on the way up here. Um, we feel like it's a proper way to protect a brand new boat before it comes to uh, the end user. So we're going to uh, we'll unwrap this and we'll get on the boat in a second. Okay, Smoker John here. We just took the cover off of this brand new 27 foot game fish. As you can see from the profile of it, we opted to go with the full black hull, gel coated all the way through the bottom side. The customer wants to bottom paint it, great. They want to not bottom paint it, it's super sharp with the white sides and we went with the uh, tan interior which is a new color for 2019. If you look at this boat from the back you'll notice that it has tremendous flare and the flare goes all the way back past the helm station which keeps this boat incredibly dry. The other nice thing about this is it's a 27 foot boat but it's a 9 foot 4 beam so it's wider than most boats in its size class. Um, Super heavy duty hardware, excellent running boat. It's got a 21 degree transom dead rise, which is at the back of the boat. And it's got a 60 degree dead rise in the front of the boat, which is your entry point, which creates the ride that we're gonna get on this. This boat is powered by a pair of Yamaha 200s, as you can see from the factory. Props are installed, batteries installed. Everything's pretty much ready to go. We gotta clean it, fuel it, put it in the water. Um, recessed Lenko trim tabs. Underwater lights are standard on this boat. Um, let's walk around the side over here a little bit. We have a side door on our port side. We also opt to get the uh, side door boarding ladder, which we'll show you when we get inside there. You see a little bit of dust on this boat. We definitely have to clean it up a little bit. Um, standard with the uh, stainless steel anchor windlass built right into the boat. And if you come to the front of this boat, you'll see the tremendous entry angle of this boat and a tremendous flare on this boat and that's going to give it the superior ride that it gets. All right, let's walk back on and get on the boat and take a look and see what we got. Okay, so back of the boat you're going to see this really cool feature. Built-in boarding ladder. Just pop this right out here. Drops down. Easy to get on and off the boat. Stores out of the way. Um, Super uh, easy access to the boat. Okay, awesome. Okay, we're on the boat here. You can see it's got an awesome back fishing area in this boat. Super comfortable, combing pads all the way around. We've got a fish well in the back here. Lighted fish well. Another huge fish box in the back. Everything's finished on both sides and it's sealed. Transom door with a magnet to keep it open, which locks it off nicely. Here we just have a little bit of storage down here. Okay, we got a fold up rear transom seat, which is nice because a lot of times you're not just fishing and you want to get out there and bring some family members with you. So we just flip that up and you have a nice seat here. We have the back rear facing seat with two fish boxes, aerators, in the back, rod holders here, rocket launchers up top, rod holders on the side, cup holders built in, super heavy duty pop-up stainless steel cleats, okay, moving up forward here, why don't we move all the way to the front, okay, look at the front area we have here. We opt to go with the filler cushion in the front, which is this middle filler cushion. It's removable, so you could have U-shaped seating, or you could fill it in for a lounge, and you also have the removable backrest so you can lean forward when you're driving. All these cushions are can snap out and get stored inside the head, or we'll show you the canvas console storage that we have as well. Up front, we talked about this before, automatic anchor windlass, foot pedals right here to control the windlass, 
LED navigation lights. Again, cup holders with rod holder storage. This boat's standard with the hard top. Fiberglass hard top. We went with the black powder coating to match the hole a little bit. It's got built-in LED lights. It's set up for outriggers if you want to put them on. It's got a VHF antenna on top, which the nice thing the factory does is they have quick releases on it, so you can remove the antenna when you shrink wrap the boat for the winter, or if you're trailer in it, um, which is really nice. There's a cushion here, which we're still waiting to get, um, but you have some uh, nice forward seating here too, which kind of fills in the area nice. Storage compartment in the floor right here. Nice and deep. Full self-draining cockpit on the boat. Powder coated rails, standard. Um, the hardware is super, super heavy duty on this boat. It's comparable to top of the line boats. Okay, so if you take a look, we're on the boat right now. This is what you get from the nine foot four beam. You get huge walk arounds. Where on an eight foot six trailable boat beam, you're not gonna get that type of walk around space. This boat can be trailered. Um, but it's just a little bit wider than the uh, limit, so you have to get a, a permit to tow it, which is not a big deal. Um, dual captain seats with a flip-up bolster and droppable hand rests, which is really nice. Super heavy-duty hardware, all powder-coated as well. And if you look down here, we also have a flip-down powder-coated rail, so if you want to put your feet on something, you got that as well. This boat is loaded with features and benefits, which is... Uh, which is exceptional because it, it, it's an unbelievable riding boat and to have all that as well is nice. We got a tilt helm seat here, our helm steering, our dual binnacle controls, push button starts. We have Lenko trim tabs with indicators. Um, like I said, the boats come pretty much ready to go. Batteries are on, we turn the battery switches on. We opted to go with the single 12 inch Garmin GPS chart ladder. Um, it also has a VHF Garmin radio to match. Um, we could put a second screen if somebody wants, if they want to add radar to it, um, or night vision or anything like that. If there's plenty of space to do that. Uh, all these boats come with the JL audio system, Bluetooth system, uh, speakers, matching speakers, and so forth. And it's it's kind of a cool little feature I've not seen on a lot of boats, but it's got a little place when you put your smartphone, and it holds it right there. Again, as phones change, as things change, it's going to fit all the different devices that you have, which is really smart from a uh, sea hunt. Um, dash is pretty easy over here. You got a jail audio, which gives you the uh, USB connection, so you can plug your phone right in there if you don't want a Bluetooth and charge it. And then all of your switching is right here, along with your circuit breakers right here, so you can control everything you want right from the helm. Oh, Yamaha Command Link Plus which controls all your motor functions. 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. Down over here we have a little glove box storage. Put your stuff out of the way. Nice little storage over here as well. Inspection plate to get to your fuel tanks. And if you notice the hard top on this boat, it's super heavy duty, three-sided glass with an opening, automatic opening, um, fresh air, Trying to figure out how to open it. Da, 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 da. Oh, we got a windlass control here. Underwater lights control. A mister. This is kind of a cool thing. This will actually mist you with cool air, which we probably could use right now uh, while we're running. And that's standard on the hardtop functions of a, of a sea hunt. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Windshield vent. There we go. Actuated allows us to get air inside when we're driving or pretty much close it off if we don't want to get anything. It's got built-in spreader lights, built-in LEDs. You can see this is a mister right here. They're throughout the back of the boat over here. And speakers are all built in too. Also, zoom in over here. You can see we're all ready to go if you want to put outriggers on this boat. The factory thought about it. They don't offer the option, but we can easily put uh, outriggers on there very easily. Um, and it's going to have the support that you need. This is kind of a cool feature that Sea Hunt has. We really like this about the boat. They have the side walkthrough doors, and if you're fishing or if you're using the boat to get uh, using it to get on and off the boat, we like about theirs is that the gunnels flip over. Okay, 
So we're not ruin ruining the integrity of the boat at all. This slides open this way with a magnetic catch, out of sight, out of mind. And we've taken a step a little bit further, and we have a removable stainless steel ladder so you can board from the side if you prefer. Again, let's take a quick look at these uh, fish boxes that we have on this boat. Live wire aerators. Dual back down here. We have this huge fish box back here. Another aerator back over here, lighted. Again, see the finish on both sides. Heavy duty actuators, heavy duty latches. Okay, another inspection plate to look at the other side of your fuel tank. And if you look on the side over here, you see our VHF radio, which isn't installed yet, but you have fish rod holder pockets, but you have a tow rail here. So if you're fishing, it's a perfect height where your knees aren't getting beat against the side of the boat. But if you're fighting a fish or you're hanging out, you have some support for yourself. Over here, we have a raw water washdown. Okay, so that's taking raw water and washing us down. But we also have a fresh water washdown over here. Okay, which uses the fresh water on the boat. And, of course, the bottle opener. Can't have a boat without a bottle opener. We have double tackle stations. One on this side with drawers and tackle boxes. We have another one over here. Knife holder. Gasketed. Okay, let's uh, walk up front here a little bit. Inside of our head we have something that should be common on all boats, but isn't, is a uh, hatch to get into the head. Again, three-sided glass enclosure. Notice the LED lights that are built in over here. Also, these things right here, which people probably don't know what they are, but they're drainage for the storage lockers and the cup holders, which is super important because where does that water go if you're storing it? And this is that hatch I showed you before. I don't know if you could really see how deep it is. Okay, come around this side. Okay, you're going to see our head here. Got a little storage compartment over here. It's got a vacuum flush head system. Okay, you can see that hatch that I told you about in there. It's nice to get some air in there. You got some storage in here for your charts. Some storage up front. Access to get to all the mechanicals of the boat, which is not not super important to the person that's owning the boat. For the people that are working on it, it's really nice. And then in here, we have access to the back of the helm. You can see our batteries are stored midship. Keep the weight down or the weight more centerized. And our battery switches are right inside here, along with our, our breakers and so forth for that. Take a look at the top of the hard top if you can. Can you climb up here? And, uh... This is something that's gonna tell the quality of this boat. Look at the powder coated, can you see this on the side over there? Powder coated custom washers built in power top. They're not just putting stainless steel nuts with acorn nuts on top, which look terrible. They actually gave some thought to it and did it with powder coating. And that's where you can see the VHF antenna with the quick neck on it. Non-skidded, non-skidded hardtop, non-skidded floors, non-skidded side rails. Um, it's got a real nice wide uh, gunnel walk along, easy to get out if you're going to dock it. And uh, Powered with a pair of 200s, this thing is uh, is ready to go offshore or ready to go to a fireworks or ready to go to dinner or whatever you want to do with it. Gas filler right here. And we have water on the other side and waste on the other side. I'm going to remove this seat here. And put it up here. And now we're going to take a look at bilge access. we got to get into our bilge and you can see all of our pumps are right there. Through a hole for our seawater washdowns and our sea pumps. Bronze Airmar transducer. Finished fully bilge. Everything's easy to get at, easy to work on, and uh, and that's a real plus. Just little things like the, the locks and mechanisms are nice. This magnets that hold the doors in are nice. And uh, I think it's going to be a real nice piece for us.